from Michal Magdou. Look, I just want to say in respect of Minister O'Donnell's appearance here today that he stayed in, in his seat as a courtesy to the House uh, and um, that uh, it wasn't a case that he was sent in to deal with a matter which uh, he had no expertise in. And I do want to say that Senator Cl Clonan was rightly outraged that uh, the government um, uh, effectively tried to get him to pull the debate um, and didn't even, didn't even go through the arrangement of sending in somebody else, but just simply was proposing to leave that seat empty. So you may deal with that, uh, um, I just want to put on record my solidarity with Senator Clonan and also um, to uh, deal with the fact that um, Minister O'Donnell was acting as a gentleman and uh, was uh, acting in courtesy to this House. Um, can I, can I say one thing about uh, today, uh, what, um, uh, as a day when the um, institutions in Northern Ireland are up and running again? Uh, I welcome that unequivocally, and I'm delighted that the institutions are up and running, or, or are to be up and running, and that uh, the uh, Good Friday Agreement is to be operated um, uh, as was envisaged by the people who voted for it. Um, I do want to say one thing, though, and that is, that um, what's needed now is reconciliation in Northern Ireland between those people who do want a united Ireland, including myself, that kind of person, and those people who don't. And uh, the political system up there requires um, uh, generosity and, um, uh, and uh, a mindfulness of the position of others who disagree with the uh, concept of a united Ireland. And, in that context, I do have to say, and I hope uh, the Senator Warfield and Senator Gavin won't take it amiss, to say that uh, the, um, a united Ireland is now within touching distance is very, very insensitive to the two-thirds of, two of people in Northern Ireland who uh, uh, opinion polls say would vote no if they were asked the question. Uh, and um, it destabilises uh, the debate rather than it reinforces it. I aspire to a united Ireland. I consider myself an Irish Republican, like most, of, most people in this House, I presume. But um, to say that, uh, to, to just simply announce that we are now within, in touching distance of United Ireland flies in the face of, of, the, of the fact that, the great, that, that a, a significant majority of people in Northern Ireland uh, have the right to say no and would say no if, uh, if the matter was put to a vote. Will you break this?